Okay, listen. Listen, it's 939, which means we are going to watch the worst Shark Tank episode ever. Guest starring the one and only Gwyneth Paltrow of Goop fame is the lowest rated episode of Shark Tank of all time. All right, here we go. Tonight, Gwyneth Paltrow, Oscar-winning actress and founder of lifestyle juggernaut, Goop, joins the tank. First in the tank is a healthier version of a favorite breakfast indulgence. What was the thing that Gwyneth Paltrow sold? Wasn't it like a vagina candle? The vagina scented candle. Okay, good. She is indeed qualified then to investigate the average Shark Tank product. Whoa. <laughs> This isn't part of the pitch. She's just trapped. Lindsay is the love of my life, and I am Samuel Taylor, the founder of Long Table in Chicago. I'm here to offer you 15% of my company in exchange for $140,000. Are you telling the story of how you won my heart with pancakes? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, wait, this pitch has nothing to do with acrobats. <laughs> That's crazy. That what an insane opening to your your farm to table pancakes. What is this? Back She's still going. <laughs> that would be nutrition dense enough to carry her through one of her performances. So <laughs> I invented a new one. They're Whoa, not even listening to you, bro. Out of popcorn. Yeah, someone said it's the Shark Tank version of Subway Surfers, and they have never been more correct. <laughs> That is literally getting your wife to be subway surfers while you fucking yap. Good luck, my love. I'm out. Uh, do you want to ride? Yeah, sure. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Talk oh my about God. your last year's sales. Wow. Damn, those the look kind of good, though. Wait, I'm kind of sold. Seller. Those are the popcorn flour pancakes. It's very interesting. It tastes popcorny-ish. Yeah. He's America's friend. Mr. David Schwimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, how could you be less confident in what you're pitching? That you need your wife to do a fucking trapeze show and then Ross from Friends to show up and serve the waffles. Just tell me if the business is good or not. Hi, Sean. Wait, can I go Hi. hug him? Gwyneth. I have to hug him. <laughs> what on earth are you doing I here? Know, this is crazy. I'll explain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So this is yeah, very I'm, good. I'm here obviously because I I think these these pancake and waffle mixes are hands down the best I've ever had. Uh, having said that, I'm not I'm not an investor. <laughs> I have nothing to gain other than yeah. So when the pandemic hit, Mark is not investing. <laughs> I think we can. I think body language alone, he's gonna eat his waffle and he is gonna be out. Is it this? Is five pounds of whole grain. <laughs> And to present the crepes next, my president friend, Joseph R. Biden. <laughs> so let's talk about sales. Let's do. From Over the years. From 2019, we did about $20,000 a year in sales. It's really low. Doing 20,000 a year, it's hard to live off that. Social media is not my strong suit. <laughs> well, um, that's a problem. Well, don't worry, you could always bring in the cannon. <laughs> Mr. Wonderful's got your back. Two to three likes per post, guaranteed. Uh, simply because of the slowness of the trajectory of the business, I don't have a lot of faith in it uh, hitting the goalposts. So for that reason, I'm out. Yikes. I, I just that. have to, just to counter that, you know, especially when okay, you, know, you have an actor who's migrating into another area and doing something with a lot of heart and a lot of care. Like sometimes it takes time. You know, you're learning skills along the way. You're <laughs> Is she talking about herself? Sometimes it takes a few years to come up with your ultimate product, the vagina candle, okay? That doesn't happen overnight. But <laughs> the business is a little small for me at the moment. Ooh, I interesting. I the best, but I'm regretfully out. That was a long way to talk about yourself, well, really. Long I'm part of that movement that seeks out food like this now. This is the kind of thing that I can get behind because I would use the product and I would... Royalties, royalties, royalties. <laughs> but what we've all... He actually, he's actually teasing. He's teasing the cannon. I would explain how good the product is to my social media. It's fucking two to three likes per post. If there's anything you learned here in the Shark Tank today is you brought the story, all right? Now go tell He's it. doing it on Shark Tank. That's his advertisement. He's right. He's right. Good luck good with luck. it. Some great That's crazy. That was cold-blooded. All five people said nice things and no. <laughs> There was no negotiation, no back and forth. Nobody even made a pity offer. And then David Schwimmer flew out for this? 
We're getting the Gwyneth Paltrow backstory? For as long as I can remember, I wanted to be an actor. I did a film in Paris, and I remember being really struck by how difficult it was to find what the great cafes were and stores <laughs> and wellness practitioners. And that's really where the very, very kernel of the idea. <laughs> We've all been there, right? You're doing a famous film in Paris and you just simply cannot find great cafes. I think I'm good at identifying trends very early uh, and where uh, the consumer <laughs> is thinking. Not an ounce of humility in this whole thing. People called me crazy for walking away from my amazing movie star career, my, my incredibly successful movie star career to do to my $390 million startup. But I guess I went to show them that hard work pays off. Yet he said every pitch actually could be a 10 out of 10. And that, this, that would still explain why this is the lowest rated episode. <laughs> that was very off-putting, I'll be honest with you. Next into the tank is a couple hoping to wrap up a deal for their low-calorie superfood. Hi, Sharks. My name is Zin Wang. And my name is Melissa Kalala Wang. And we're from New York, seeking 300000 for 3% equity of our company. Whoa! Tacos. Everyone loves tacos. But my doctors say I can't eat tacos every day. <laughs> That's because of the calorie-laden tortilla. Why, why has it become the Shark Tank meta to, like, talk to the sharks like they're children and you're, like, at a kindergarten giving a play? <laughs> Say hello to Hickory A crisp and refreshing tortilla alternative made from thin slices of fresh jicama. Hicka what? Hicka <laughs> yeah. Oh. what? Yeah. <laughs> so we've got you guys have got samples Holy of our hickama tacos. Holy shit! I actually have hickama taco recipes in my last cookbook. Oh, you do. Quit How pushing you your own shit, what Gwyneth. We're supposed to make so we. You're make supposed it to invest. We sell it to retail for $2.99 and it's on shelf for $4.99. This doesn't seem like a, that bad of an idea. Am I crazy? It's not really for me because I like tortillas. Or it would kill me if I ever brought home a jicama tortilla. But like they seem to know their shit. They know their business. Uh, there's, an, there's a market for it. So in 2019, just one year sales, $1 million. Okay. Wow. 2020, $4 million. Okay. 2021, $5 million. This year, we're doing $6 million. Wow. Okay. Can I ask you a question? 300000 for The numbers are real. It's crazy. I think that imputes a $10 million valuation. Mm -hmm. You're going to make $400,000. You're asking for a 25 multiple. Who is going to pay you 25x for this? Like, I mean, let's be realistic. I'll give you $300,000 for 10%, but I'd like a pro rata share of what you earn from a business. Okay. So therefore, if you're taking out Nine, $90, you're handing me $10. I'll save you some time. Look, I'm Hickama's good because I'm starving. I'm not a huge Hickama fan. So for those reasons, I'm out. He's done that okay, thank you. all thank pitches. You, I appreciate that. As, has he done I'll save you some time three times this episode? <laughs> I feel like Mark is checked out. The product is fantastic, but for me, I make this myself at home, so. You buy the whole oh my hickama, God. you peel it, right. you use it. <laughs> so for that reason, I'm out. I'm right almost thing. respecting how hard she is going to be unrelatable and unlikable in this episode. You know, you have an offer from Barbara. What do you think of it? So in terms of the uh, percentage, um, are you willing to do uh, the 300,000 for Five percent? No, I wouldn't. I would have to stay with the ten percent. I'll do it for I nine percent mean... just to make it interesting for Barbie, <laughs> and then you get Chef Wonderful. Are you guys willing to do seven uh, percent? Definitely not. Not, no. not for me. No, I do a lot of private yeah. equity deals. You would not get that deal in the world. Yeah, as of right now, in this episode, Zero, you're doing a great deal with FTX. I think. Why don't you talk about that? <laughs> Currently, right now, as you're saying this, you're. <laughs> You're doing an amazingly well-researched financial deal with the FDX crypto startup, and I think that's awesome. As we mentioned before, we have the manufacturing set up, but we need help in sales and marketing. I can certainly deliver the same social marketing as Mr. Wonderful, who thinks he's much more wonderful than he actually is. Actually and true! Oh, oh shit, Barb with the bars! $300,000 for 6% Damn, and double comeback? in advisory shares? Well, how about one more percent in advisory shares? 3% in advisory shares. Total of 9%. Yes, I would actually, just to beat him out. So, Barbara, you've got a deal. Oh Thank shit! You, Congrats, guys. <laughs> well, I haven't seen a Barbara deal in a minute. Yeah. She kind of <laughs> cooked on it. Hi, Sharks. My name is Amrita Seigel. I'm seeking $250,000 for 5% equity in Why my company. Why is she company. talking like that? Kudos. 
This may seem a little odd to you, being wrapped in plastic, Derelict. but this <laughs> is what most disposable diapers are made of. So we decided to diaper the world <laughs> differently with Just talk kudos. normal. Premium disposable diapers where baby sensitive tush touches 100% soft, <laughs> natural cotton all day. It's a cotton diaper with math on it. Will you tell us a little about your background? Um, so I come from a family ah, of stop. all engineers. I was <laughs> fortunate to go to MIT where I majored in mechanical engineering. Can you say Harvard? <laughs> Boots. What are your sales? So we launched a year well, ago. In look, this first year, we have done eight. If you can imagine a product more up Gwyneth Paltrow's alley, I feel like this is very goop-pilled. Maybe she'll invest? Paltrow weaves her own diapers at home. <laughs> I actually weave my own diapers, uh, so I wouldn't need this product. I'm assuming you're not profitable. <laughs> we are not profitable. What are your oh, aggregate well. losses since you started this? Since we've started 1.5 million. Jesus that Christ! We do expect to become profitable next year. Expect how, much are, what? how much are the diapers? Two options. You can make a one-time purchase for $88 or join our subscription for $78 a month. I really think of baby diapers as just the beginning. We just launched with baby wipes three weeks ago. And then additionally, we expect to be launching with training pants and swim pants. Okay. That's just the beginning. Then where I really <laughs> see us going, Mark, is the adult diaper market. Seven, you Make the first market work on. first. <laughs> what are you missing? In terms of what? What are you looking for? We need to figure out how to make this product a household name. We know it's we have a marketing. better product. We know parents <laughs> love it. We need to expand into other online Bro, everyone in this episode just wants marketing. <laughs> I do see a really big white space in the market. When I had babies, I was using eco diapers and had a mustard explosion. Yeah. So. <laughs> I used eco-friendly diapers and I had a mustard explosion. It's a poop thing. I don't want to know. <laughs> Keep that to yourself. We're, we're going to try to save you some time. Okay. Right? Okay. So, I'd like to make an offer with Gwen. <laughs> he is four for four on saying, I'm going to save you some time. He actually is over it this episode. I think he knows the episode is wrapping up and he has to do at least one pitch so he's not become Damon. <laughs> I'm thinking 12%, Gwyneth. Does that work for you? That works for me. We'll offer you the 250K for 12% but you have both of us. That's a little more than I want that I I wanted to that Welcome was to the shark tank. <laughs> I understand. She should just jump it. Literally she's selling eco-friendly diapers and you're going to get Gwyneth Paltrow on board. You're going to that's going to put you in the home of every fucking crazy mom in the country that wants this type of shit. Could I counter that for $250,000 for 8%, 4% each? Would you be willing to do that? Make it 10. I'd be good with 10. 10? 10, 10, you, you got it. We'll split the difference. Yeah, well, insane they took anything. It can be advisory shares. Okay, could we do 3% <laughs> advisory shares and then split the 7% between the two of you? That's the total of 10, so that works. You got it. <laughs> Congrats. All right, so advisory shares, to my understanding, are just non-voting shares. It's the same thing in terms of profit when the company gets sold, but they, they probably have some investors that have a certain level of control. They just have, they have no voting power. That's my understanding. I feel like she got the best deal she could have gotten for what this product is. She even made like an insane counter and they they lowered their ass. Oh, it didn't close. Nope, it didn't close. Like, <laughs> like we said, it didn't close. Dude, that's exactly what I said. It was the end of the episode. Mark wanted to do a deal with Gwyneth Paltrow at the end. It didn't close. They just said it at the end so they got a pitch on the air. Didn't happen. Well, that was the worst episode of Shark Tank. <laughs> we've ever seen and the lowest rated on imdb you know individually none of those pages is so bad that it's crazy it really was with paltrow's interlude <laughs> about how she came up in the struggle and her responding to every pitch with her own personal life story yeah that was crazy that was crazy check it, check it. Hey,